Hey, what's up guys? Rado here and welcome to another episode of Just Rolled Into The Shop brought to you by PureMoto.com. Today is super exciting because we are going to talk about fuel injected 300 two-stroke Euro 5 norm that is based on YZ250 that is coming to a production and will be available at the end of 2023. And all the news and details about this bike are just mind-blowing. Fantic XE300 coming out of Italy that is heavily based on YZ250. That's why looking at this picture you see a lot of similar stuff, uh, something familiar that you've seen before many many times. For example the frame, that's something that we see on YZ250 starting at 2005 is the same frame. Then we have KYB forks and a lot of same components. The YZ250 is a solid bike, everybody loves this bike, everybody knows this bike, we know how to jet it, we know how, how to work on these bikes. It's been around for a very long time and they're still, still selling a bunch of bikes. But uh, there is a lot of enthusiasts off-road especially that would love to see something a little bit different coming out of Yamaha. They would love to see 300, they would love to see electric start, they would love to see a hydraulic clutch, maybe electronic power valve and all kinds of different things that uh, we see on other European brands. So Fantic, Italian company, has this partnership with Yamaha for many years, took this uh, platform YZ250 that everybody knows and loves and they built something amazing. We've been talking about it for maybe two years now. They, will, they were showing us the engines at the shows in Europe, in, in Milan, in ECMA, two years ago, a year ago, and this time they actually came out with an entire bike that is coming to a production that will be for sale for around 10,000 euro in Europe starting uh, end of 2023. So when you look at this Fantic 300 XE that is coming to production uh, end of uh, 2023, just look at the engine and uh, I, I'm really amazed looking at all that. So what they are telling us is that this thing comes with fuel injection. And uh, not one injector, but two injectors, dual injectors. And just looking at it, it seems like one injector would be in the port and one injector would be in the throttle body. So it kind of be like TPI and TBI combined. So we'll give you the best of both worlds. And then I think the CDI can actually uh, kind of time the injection of one or the other, maybe low RPM, you have a little bit more TPI and then higher RPM, you get a little bit uh, more TBI, you know, the, the throttle body when you have better airflow. So I'm sure that they play with all the mapping and, and the best curves they could give you. They are telling us that it will be very linear and the power will be everywhere and the torque will be everywhere. So we're going to experience a really good linear power of this two-stroke engine and even now there were some people running this 300 engine with carp uh, in the in the european championships in some enduro races and they did really well so they proved this platform now they put fuel injection on it dual injectors hydraulic clutch building they have electric start that is fully designed in motor in early their own design it's not some piggyback system that they just uh, took from somewhere so everything is in-house design and this thing is uh, pumping a lot of power, a lot of linear power. It's coming with a traction control. You have that uh, on your left side uh, handlebar, there is a traction control and then there is a map switch. You will be able to choose between two maps. So looking at this uh, Fantic, I have only one question uh, for Yamaha and for Fantic. I don't know who can answer this question. My question is, will this white and red, just like that one right there, will this white and red bike come to USA? Please import this bike into USA. I guarantee there is a huge market for fuel injected, hydraulic clutch, electric start, YZ300. That what essentially Fantic is. It's based on that. We know that engine, we know that frame, we know that suspension, best stock suspension ever. We know all that. Now Fantic made it way better. If they come to US market, I think they will be selling like a hot cake. I guarantee that there will be a lot of people ready to put down payment on this bike. If you guys would be interested, if you guys would be one putting down payment at your dealer, let me know below in the comments. We want to see what would be the, the interest here in USA. Now we have to talk about one more thing. So Fantic just came up with this uh, amazing 300 two-stroke bike, right? They told us about it for like two, three years. We are coming with this. We are building it. We are coming with it. It will be amazing. They show us engine, they show us another engine and they, they did a lot, right? So we knew it's coming. But together with this amazing 300 two-stroke, they didn't tell us, they just came out with a 310 four-stroke. I believe that thing is based on 250FX Yamaha six gear uh, wide ratio transmission. And they <laughs> gave us 310. 
Isn't this something, guys, that every one of you off-road riders riding on 250 is uh, secretly hoping that Yamaha will come up with? If Yamaha comes with 350, they will sell tons of bikes. But this fun thing now is taking the Yamaha 250, making it into 310, giving us the light bike that has a lot of power, that has everything that uh, we actually are secretly dreaming about. We are asking to uh, <laughs> these Japanese manufacturers to kind of follow Austrian brands, not only Austrian, also Italian brands are coming with different size, uh, different CCs in between 450 and 250. So here Fantic showing us that it's possible. We took this 250FX and we made it into 310 and I do believe they're gonna sell a lot of bikes. So this is just an extra, this is just a bonus that uh, they didn't tell anybody, they just, hey, by the way, we also have this 310 four stroke. Uh, if you guys like four stroke, you can get that one. Or right, there's one thing you guys need to know about Fantic or Fantic. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Let's call it Fantic. Fantic is Italian company and it's 100% Italian ownership. It's not owned by Yamaha, but they have partnership with Yamaha. Now Yamaha used to own another Italian company, which is Motori Minarelli. And that company is doing uh, engine development, been around since like 1951. And they build over 10 million engines. They are really good in engine development and they're producing tons of engines for different manufacturers. So it was 100% part of Yamaha up till 2020. So up till three years ago in 2020, Fantic actually bought 100% of Motori Minarelli. So now these two Italian companies, Motori Minarelli engine uh, builders and Fantic, they unite. They, they are under one umbrella, under one ownership, and they are working on these amazing bikes coming out of Fantic factory these uh, or Fantic factory these Italian bikes that are heavily based on proven bikes from Japan on Yamaha YZ250, YZ250F and other models. All right so this is a huge news you know they came to ECMA they they had this bike on display and they're saying hey you can buy this next month and it's around 10,000 uh, euro which I think is very similar to KTM. Now uh, Italy is on fire guys. Uh, I've been doing these videos talking about Italian brands. I talk about Beta, Bimota, I talk about uh, Ducati, they're all coming with the dirt bikes, they're all going to race, Ducati is going to race, Beta is going to race. These are all made in Italy. So it kind of looks like Italy is becoming New Japan. There will be more manufacturers coming out of Italy very soon that are actually coming from Japan. And another very important thing is that that company in Italy is mainly doing motorcycles and dirt bikes. So they are heavily focusing on that. They don't do pianos, they don't do cars, they don't do anything else like Japanese companies, but they are really deeply involved and invested in this motorcycle market, which really makes me happy because that means they giving a lot into R&D. They are pushing the development forward. You know, we've been told uh, 20 years ago that two stroke is dying and the four stroke is a new way. and all the bikes will now switch and be, uh, be four strokes. But you see, it's not true, it's not happening. Uh, there is KTM is pushing this development uh, with these three brands, KTM, Husky, Gas Gas, Sherco is pushing a lot, Beta is doing a lot, uh, there is still Riehu, and then uh, TM is also doing fuel injection and electronic power valve. And now Fantic is taking YZ250 engine and putting electronic power valve, fuel injection, hydraulic clutch, electric start, and all that good stuff. And they are meeting the Euro 5 norm, which is a very strict uh, norm, emission norm in Europe. Since they're meeting over there, when they come to US, uh, maybe we'll be able to put some stickers on them in California, and maybe some guys over in different states will be able to make them even street legal. So it's a lot of two-stroke development, even though we've been told 20 years ago that forget about two strokes that are kind of going away, it's not happening. So that kind of brings me to another point. We kind of are told these days that, oh, the electric uh, wave is coming and everything will be electric from like five or 10 years later. I don't think that will ever happen. And uh, I think, yeah, we're gonna have electric dirt bikes and you will have options, but we're gonna still have a two stroke dirt bikes. We're gonna still have a four stroke dirt bikes and there will be electric, another category that you can choose from. If you only look at the, uh, current scene here in California, even though California is maybe the worst state to ride, you have tons of two strokes, you have tons of vintage bikes even, people are uh, rebuilding them, people still riding them, you still have a lot of parts. So I don't really worry about switching completely to electric and forgetting about internal combustion engines. So I have a lot of hope, especially looking at a Fantic. 
All right, guys, so these are a super exciting news coming out of Italy, and I cannot stop talking about these uh, Italian brands coming on the market, doing what we wanted to see from Japan. You know, Red Moto is building Hondas that Honda wouldn't build. Now, uh, Fanting is building Yamahas, uh, based, based on Yamahas, what Yamaha is not building. Now there is Beta, there is Ducati, there is uh, TM, there is uh, so many different brands that are coming into and are well established in a derby market. And we see this development. TM actually had fuel injection, electronic power valve on their 300 even before KTM. For some reason, we don't really talk about it much in the industry. I don't really know why they build them by hand. They don't have a high production. They don't really push a marketing that much, but it would be good to cover uh, the TM as well. I will look into it because uh, it's a really interesting brand. I would like to know more. There is a dealer not far from here, and I believe they are also uh, importer to US. So we might set something up uh, in the near future. So a lot of good stuff coming out of Italy. The only thing I hope is that uh, all the Italian stuff will come over to USA. So we here in the American market can also have access to all these cool bikes coming out of Italy. All right, my friends. Well, that's about it for today. Drop the comment below. Let me know what you think about this uh, XE300 Fantic bike with all the bells and whistles, amazing two-stroke that they are promising will run amazing. They've been testing it for a, for a long time. They, I think they won a couple races with this uh, platform, so it's gonna be amazing. Let me know if you would drop a couple thousand dollars down payment on the bike if your dealer offers them, and uh, let me know your feedback about this uh, fantastic uh, news that we shared today. That's about it for today, and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.